class itself, like the students, we're all like a big friend group, so it, it's really fun. Just, we're all like, hanging out together and talk a lot. The teacher is really nice, and all the work that we do is, it feels relevant as opposed to other classes. It's very open. The teacher is not really like a teacher, it's more like a student with us, so we can like talk with each other more. I like how Ms. Craig incorporates a lot of fun projects that are really kind of independent. Ms. Craig has many strengths as a teacher. She's a fantastic uh, person and a fantastic teacher. Uh, I think one of her many strengths is her connection to students. Students love Ms. Craig, um, but she's also not a pushover. So she is funny and she connects with students of all ages, um, but she holds them accountable and she has high expectations for them. So that combination uh, one doesn't always find and uh, she really uh, is fantastic in that way. I love teaching English um, because I love literature, I love books, I love to read, and to see especially what STEM students are taking away from literature is kind of amazing because I'm used to a high school setting where students tend to know more and seeing the actual learning process take place here is pretty incredible, especially in the seventh grade classroom. Right now we're working on A Long Walk to Water. We just did a research project on it. Uh, we're working on reading the book A Long Walk to Water and it's about South Sudan. Learning about the culture, like where two characters live, and the war that's going on, and how it affects those people. It's showing how um, Sudan is struggling. We have been talking about the two journeys of Naya and Salva in class. We've been comparing and contrasting their journeys because they take place in the same in the same location of South Sudan, um, but they take place in very different time periods, although it doesn't feel like Naya's journey has much advanced since 1985 when Selva's journey began. A Long Walk to Water is the story of Selva Dute and his journey across Sudan in Africa, and it eventually intertwines with his mission to bring wells to those less fortunate than us who live in Africa. Water for South Sudan is a nonprofit organization founded by one of the lost boys of South Sudan, Salva Dute, and he is trying to build wells in the villages that he left behind when he was running from oppression. So from this class, I hope that they're gaining a better understanding of the world and the people who live in it. Um, that culturally we are reading books about people who don't look like them, aren't from the same places that they're from, and are still experiencing the same problems and maybe they're magnified or looked through in a different lens. But I'm hoping that seventh graders are taking away obviously our core skills, the ability to communicate through reading, writing, and discussion. But I also hope they're taking away um, what it is to be kind and what it is to understand someone else's situation who's different from you.